Gemini, hi. This is your reading for sun, moon, or rising signs in the sign of Gemini for the week of September 5th all the way up until September 10th, where we have the full moon in Pisces. So we're in an in-between stage, Gemini, in between the new and full moon, but we're also, as in September, we are way more than just in between moon cycles. We're in between a lot more, Gemini. So things may seem a little hectic, confusing, or uh, stagnant. <laughs> um, we'll see, we'll see what comes out for you in the cards. This message is general, so take what resonates for you and leave the rest. Try not to build a story if it's not resonating for you, meaning you're not fully feeling that, that this, she's talking to me. This message is for me. I feel it, I know it. So Gemini, and if you would like a personal reading, you can book one through my website. That information is in the description box below. As well as we will be doing an extended reading on this reading. And if you want to join us over on Patreon, Gemini, to get the full reading, that information is in the description box below as well. So with all that out of the way, what does Gemini need to know this week? What will be helpful for Gemini? What is Gemini experiencing? What cycle is Gemini in? Let's give Gemini some good tips and pointers for this part of the journey. Shall we? Thank you. First card flying out, firm foundation. So we'll see where this is going. Firm foundation means that regardless of what is happening, regardless of who is in your life, that you find this firm, solid foundation within yourself, Gemini. This is strength, persistence, endurance, but more so finding comfort, security, and safety within yourself. It sounds like, sure, I got that. But when you really dig into it, Gemini, when we find our phobias and fears and worries and, and doubts, that is because we are not really sitting in quite the firm foundation that we thought we were. But let's see. Let's see. You may also be working towards um, security, safety, and your own foundation, your home. But this card really speaks to me more, accelerated motion, more about yourself as an individual and feeling confident, grounded, and secure within yourself, regardless of what happens outside of you. Energy is moving. Things are moving fast now, Gemini. Accelerated motion. They're moving fast for all of us. But uh, all the mutable signs will be highly affected um, by this full moon. And Gemini, you are a mutable sign as well. Maybe one of the, you and Virgo would be the two signs that would probably be most affected by this full moon. The theme of the energy is within relationships to others. And the theme is sacrifice versus, or sorry, <laughs> service versus sacrifice. Yeah. And you're kind of pulled back right now, Gemini, emotional withdrawal because you got some mental conflict going on. Something is conflicting within you. Um, maybe the way you're feeling internally is not matching up with your surrounding environment. I always think of mental conflict card like those escape rooms. I'm sure you probably, if you've been listening to me for a while now, um, this is like we're trapped in our own mental escape room and you know there are all of these different keys and puzzles and pieces that need to be put together in order to get to the next mystery puzzle piece and so on and so forth until you finally solve all of the mysteries 
find the key and get yourself out of the escape room. Gemini, you're just, you're um, swirling around in this escape room and you're getting frustrated. Or worried, maybe. Geminis tend to worry. Um, the bottom of this deck is patience and planning. And that is along with the base chakra. So yes, you're ungrounded you're not feeling quite safe and secure in whatever it is that you're involved in as well as within yourself gemini so you want to slow down and be patient with your future plans as things change often and fast very very fast so you may not want to plan too far ahead in the future and instead work on feeling solid within yourself now in the present moment we're going to dive into this a little deeper for you, Gemini. Can you tell me more about Firm Foundation for Gemini, please? Yeah, what I'm getting, Gemini, is um, it feels like the moon's magic is doing some work on you. And you have new feelings and emotions that are coming online for you. These are feelings, emotions that you had suppressed, shoved down, and ignored. They're now coming to the surface and your feelings, emotions, are not matching up with your thoughts with the vision that you have in your mind for yourself and your life. Let's keep going. Firm Foundation, tell me more about Firm Foundation for Gemini, please. I'm also starting one on the floor. That's always an important to pay attention to message when they fall on the floor like that. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So Gemini, it looks like you started a new journey. See, maybe you have a lot of new things going on in your life. Maybe you have a new job or maybe you have a new marriage or maybe there's just something new, a new home. Um, but what I'm getting is new. This has to do with love, but more so this is Venus energy, the nine of cups. Um, the things that you love and value and cherish in life. What, what really gets your emotions going in a really good feeling place. Maybe this new journey is not doing it for you. I'm getting. Let's keep going here. What's, uh, tell me about the accelerated motion. We know that the energy is changing very quickly these days. Um, so you might be getting glimpses of the truth of a situation. The star. The star is all about healing. The star is all about opening up Pandora's box and allowing all of you to come out and help you, help you heal past wounds, help you gain clarity on your journey. And the star also is a card of hope. There's an angel here watching over her as she's letting out, releasing all of this. Well, these are butterflies actually. So as she's opening up, the butterflies are coming out of the chrysalis and flying around her. So maybe you're just going through a big growth spurt a big change in your cycle is what i'm getting and that's moving really fast for you and it may be get making you nervous that's that's it it's making you nervous and so you're not quite rooted in this new part of your journey yet all the way and that's to be expected Let's go into emotional withdrawal. Why is Gemini withdrawing themselves emotionally from others? Why are they not sharing how they feel truly?
<laughs> big sigh for Gemini. Wheel of Fortune. And because energy is moving, everything's moving really fast, Gemini. And, and this person is, took themselves to the edge of the water. They're praying or meditating. They're sitting, contemplating, withdrawing themselves from the world. Wheel of Fortune. As the wheel turns, Gemini, things change, things shift. And um, you don't want to find yourself clinging on to old versions of yourself, old <laughs> old things that are going to fling you off eventually anyway. That might be, a, you might be getting a sense of something bigger coming and, and changing soon or a desire <laughs> for something to open up and change for you. Can I get one more on the emotional withdrawal? I, I, I'm feeling like you're, maybe you don't even quite, with this mental conflict, maybe you don't quite even understand fully why you're feeling off, why you're not feeling elated and fulfilled and satisfied in life right now on this new journey. Because things move too fast and you're already in this new cycle. Five of Pentacles it can speak of some regret. It can also speak of, um, yeah, there's a fear here, Gemini. I think it's because of how fast the energy is moving. There's a fear, first of all, of, of maybe losing something or just being left out of parts of life that you truly um, don't really want to miss. Maybe you've got a little bit of FOMO going on right now. But um, in this card, the Five of Pentacles, um, yeah, he's feeling like he doesn't have anyone to lean on, that he is left out in the cold. See, he's kind of holding on like, oh, I just, I feel this for you, Gemini, right now. It's sort of a, a weird transitional phase for you. So... Don't let this bring you down. This is part of the journey. Let's get into mental conflict a little more here. Most likely, Gemini, the reason why you're so conflicted and so um, not sure how you're feeling is an unusual, uneasy feeling that I'm getting from this. Yeah, the Tower, Four of Swords, and Page of Cups with the mental conflict. So something did happen um, that really opened your eyes to some truth. Maybe it's some truth you didn't want to see. Maybe it's some truth that you wish you didn't know. And um, you are taking time. You are withdrawing. You are going into a meditative, contemplated mode within yourself. Um, trying to find a, a new way to feel about life. Trying to understand, like, I, I need to feel better about this. I'm not feeling that great about this new path all of a sudden. And the Page of Cups is... Um, speaks of a start of a new way of feeling about something. Bottom of the deck, Six of Cups. I thought I felt regret. So Six of Cups actually is the card of nostalgia, which has happened. This card comes up in everybody's reading right now, Gemini. It's in the energy. We're doing this whole life review while we're still alive on the planet right now. So we are constantly being bombarded with old memories of times when we were on top, times when we did feel happy and fulfilled and we felt love and connection. We're all going back to those times. And that's a good thing. You wanna conjure up those feelings so that you can start to create this again for yourself in your life, right? It's been a battle. There's been too much conflict. There's been too many people with very strong opinions in your, um, well, in the world, <laughs> and um, it feels nicer to just let me just reflect back on what did what used to make me feel good. What 
you know, I've had this experience and for me, it's music. When certain songs and certain music and just that, that energy, that I'm a huge fan of music and dance. Uh, when certain things come up for me and it's in that genre, especially if it's something I haven't heard in a long time that really helps shift my energy somewhere else. So I'm going to give you an advice card here, Gemini, and then I'm going to continue this reading over um, the, the, this extended reading over on Patreon. If you want to join me, that information is in the description box below. But if this is where you leave off, Gemini, I'll let me get you an advice card. Okay. And if you like this video, would you please click the like button? And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. This really helps hit the messages out to more people. It helps with the algorithms within YouTube. It also will help this channel grow so that we can utilize all the other bells and whistles that YouTube won't give us until we have a certain amount of subscribers. Mainly, I'd like to go live on my mobile device and that I'm not able to do quite yet. But anyway, so if you enjoy this reading uh, and you wanna give a nice energetic exchange, just give me a thumbs up. A, costs nothing to you. <laughs> All right, Gemini. What is the advice for Gemini this week leading up to the full moon? Okay. Oh, on the floor. Let's see. <laughs> I told you, Geminis are notorious for being worry warts and the universe does not want you to worry anymore. It says, I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Oh, that's for sure. It actually is a wasted energy. It's a wasted emotion, although we do have to experience it and then understand why am I worried? <laughs> but the worry does nothing but have us suffer. So if you can tame that for yourself and really, okay, I'm gonna read it from the book for you because I was just guided to do that. So let's, let's dive into worry a little bit more for you to wrap this reading up. Okay. Worry is a wasted emotion. <laughs> I just said that. <laughs> worry is a wasted emotion. It is. It does nothing other than give you the illusion of control. Oh, that's a good thing to know. When you expand too much, when you expend too much energy worrying, it limits you and has an adverse effect on the natural energy of the soul. Worrying destroys hope, faith, and excitement that are wonderful elements of this schoolroom called Earth. Remember that you are what you think and you have the power to create positive thoughts, which beget positive outcomes. Worry is a negative emotion that sets you up for a negative result. What unnecessary worries are you carrying around with you now? Examine them and objective, examine them objectively in the light of love. Help your soul by releasing them and be fully connected to the current moment, which is where your power resides. Be in the present moment, Gemini. When you're worrying, you're thinking about the future way too much. Try to get yourself present. Take some deep breaths. We're going to continue this on over on Patreon. Join me if you can. If not, have a great rest of your day. Take care, Gemini.